From unsuspecting vampires to an ancient 10-foot worm with a bear trap in its mouth, here are 10 animals with terrifying teeth. Bats It should come as no surprise that bats have terrifying teeth. Any animal that literally has fangs is going to have some frightening action going on in their mouths, but bats are scary for one reason. It's because they drink blood. While all bats have incisors, canines, premolars, and molars, there is only one type of bat that uses its canines as fangs to suck the blood of its victims. Most bats only eat insects. Out of the 1,000 known species of bats, zoologists believe that 70% of them exclusively eat insects. Other bats eat fruit, nectar, and pollen, and some even feast on small animals. Bats that drink blood, also known as vampire bats, are actually the smallest type of bat in existence, and even though they have big scary fangs in their mouth, they don't usually use their fangs to suck blood. It's not like they have hollow straws that they can use inside their teeth for feasting. Instead, they use their sharp fangs to pierce the skin of an animal and then they slurp up the blood with their tongues. Inside of their saliva is a special anticoagulant that works to slow the clotting of blood and increase their feeding time. Basically, bats bite you and then make you bleed for longer so that they can enjoy your sweet life blood, but they don't really feed on humans. Most vampire bats feed on farm animals, particularly cattle. Of course, they are the ones that have been depicted in movies and capture the imagination of humans everywhere, but the chance that you might actually get attacked by a vampire bat is incredibly low. You would need to be sleeping somewhere near their natural habitat, and you would need to leave your doors or windows open. Unfortunately, this means that a number of people in developing nations are at some risk, though it is low. But it's still fun to talk about vampires and the potential to be turned into one by a vampire bat. Mandrill Mandrills are the largest monkeys in the world. They typically live in Cameroon and the Congo, and you probably recognize the face immediately since the monkey Rafiki in The Lion King was a mandrill. You can tell these beasts right away because of their extremely colorful faces and their long white beards. And while they might not look super threatening, just wait until one of these massive monkeys opens up its mouth. They have seriously mean teeth and can easily defeat a full-grown man with just a few chops. In males, their canine teeth can grow to be over two and a half inches long, six centimeters. That might not seem like much, but it's basically the size of your middle finger. Imagine something that long biting onto your leg because you offended the wrong monkey. In the wild, a mandrill can live for about 20 years, but in captivity, a mandrill will live for over 30 years. The longest living mandrill ever recorded was 46 years. That's pretty good for a monkey. In fact, according to the Primate Conservancy, the name mandrill means man-ape. If you had sharp teeth like a mandrill, no one would mess with you. Moray Eel There is nothing quite as terrifying as the moray eel. And no, these things are nothing like electric eels. They may both be slithery, gross underwater snake-like monsters, but they are totally different. What really sets the moray eel apart, especially when talking about it having a terrifying set of teeth, is the way that its jaws work. Even with the eel's mouth closed, you can see its sharp little fangs on the upper and bottom parts of its mouth. But what's really terrifying is the fact that the moray eel has double jaws and two sets of teeth. It's just like an alien. They have a hidden internal jaw known as the pharyngeal jaw, and when feeding it shoots forward just like in the alien movies to bite its victim and pull them deeper into its throat. It latches onto its victim with its normal set of teeth, then from inside its throat the secondary jaw springs forward to seal the deal. It's absolutely terrifying. Another scary fact about the moray eel is that they have very poor eyesight. There have actually been reports of divers getting their fingers bitten off while trying to feed a moray eel, but they don't even do it on purpose. The issue is that they can't see where the food ends and where the fingers begin. Keep this in mind the next time you go on a diving trip and encounter one of these horrifying sea serpents. And if you do try to feed them and you want to see their bizarre and creepy jaws in action, know that you're taking a risk. Would you do it? Would you try to feed this disturbing sea creature to watch it attack its prey with the fearsome double jaw? Let me know if you'd be too scared in the comments below. Then be sure to hit the subscribe button if you like this video because there are lots more just like it waiting to be released very soon. Subscribe now! Sea Turtle 
You would never expect it, but sea turtles have the scariest mouths on the planet. Out of any animal that exists now or that existed in the past, sea turtles have the freakiest mouths, but the weirdest part is that they don't even have teeth. Instead of teeth, turtles have weird spikes on the inside of their mouths that run all the way down their throats. If you look directly into the mouth of a sea turtle, it's like looking into a cave of death. The jagged spikes are found on leatherback turtles, green sea turtles, and loggerhead turtles. The spikes are known as papillae, and they are used to stop food from getting out out of the turtle's mouth. Think of it like car spikes. Once an animal goes one way down the turtle's throat, it's impossible to back up and go the other way because the spikes are blocking the exit. But there's another reason for these weird teeth-like spines. According to biologist Helen Cairo, because sea turtles swallow lots of water while they eat, their stomach will fill with both food and seawater. They then need to vomit out all the water, which in itself does not sound very pleasant. To stop the food they just ate from being vomited out with the seawater, the spikes catch it so that the turtle can swallow its food again. It's basically a backwards filter that looks absolutely frightening. Isn't evolution absolutely wild? Wolf Have you ever been bitten by your cat and were surprised by how sharp its tiny teeth were? If so, you would probably not enjoy being bitten by a wolf very much. Wolves also have extremely sharp teeth, but unlike your friendly feline, wolves have unique teeth that allow them to crush bone. It's actually a two-part system. Wolves have strong teeth and an incredible biting capacity that allow them to eat just about anything. Inside the mouth of every wolf is a maximum of 42 teeth, including 12 incisors and 4 canines. The 4 canines can grow to be at least 1 inch long and sharp enough to make your cat look like a toothless baby. Because wolves have such specialized mouths, they don't usually leave much of their prey behind. They are able to crunch through bone, rip apart flesh, and eat every last part of their dinner without leaving any waste behind. These are not your friendly neighborhood pups. Wolves are wild animals and will stop at nothing when they need to eat. In fact, the idea that early humans actually tamed and domesticated these creatures at all is totally amazing. The Cookie Cutter Shark the cookie cutter shark is not nearly as intimidating as a great white, but it is one of the most interesting sharks roaming around our oceans. They only grow to be around 20 inches 50 centimeters long, so it's obviously not a very large shark. In fact, these miniature monsters don't even eat their own food. Cookie cutter sharks are parasites, which means they feed off larger animals without killing them. They do this with specialized pointed teeth, which they use to latch under the skin of a larger shark, a larger fish, or a big marine mammal. They then use their bizarre triangular lower teeth to literally scoop out huge chunks of flesh or blubber, gradually feeding on their host without doing any serious damage. The mouth it takes to do this is an absolutely horrific sight. According to Oceana, cookie cutter sharks lose teeth constantly so that they always have sharp teeth in their mouth. But what's really weird is that scientists have noted cookie cutter sharks purposely swallow their teeth when they become loose. Scientists think that by swallowing their teeth, their bodies might be able to recycle the calcium so that the next set of teeth are even better. Camel Spider the camel spider is already an absolute nightmare. They go by many terrifying names such as wind scorpions, beard cutters, and sun spiders. But surprisingly, the camel spider is neither a spider nor a scorpion. They belong to a different breed of arachnid known as Salifugae. But for all intents and purposes, they are still spiders to everyday people. Camel spiders hang out in dry hot places on our earth, mostly in deserts, and while the stories of camel spiders feasting on sleeping soldiers and running across the sand screaming are enough to make you wet your pants, just take a look at the mouth on this thing. The camel spider has huge segmented jaws with rows of sharp pointy teeth, and their jaws take up around a third of their body length. They use their killer jaws to eat anything they can overpower, from small vertebrates like lizards and snakes to other camel spiders. Musk Deer The next animal on our list is the vampire deer, or properly known as the musk deer. You might be wondering why a deer needs to have enormous vampire teeth sticking out of its face. It doesn't seem to serve any kind of purpose. Out of all the animals in the world, this thing actually looks like a vampire. It's uncanny. But rather than stalking victims at night and sucking their blood, musk deer use their giant fangs as weapons when competing for territory and for breeding rights. Most musk deer are also super small, only growing about 3 feet, 1 meter high. It makes them look extremely bizarre with their fangs hanging a few inches below their snouts. While you might think such an unusual animal is extremely rare, the vampire deer is actually something of a pest. They are doing extremely well on the island of Great Britain, where several species of fanged deer escaped from zoos many years ago and managed to reproduce at an alarming rate. 
these kinds of deer are now taking over the island, and there are so many vampire deer running around that they are considered a pest because they cause a lot of damage to people's gardens and to natural areas. Not to mention that they cause lots of car accidents every year. Bobbit Worm the bobbit worm is the most horrendous living thing in the tropical oceans of the Indo-Pacific region today. These nightmare predators grow to be roughly 10 feet, 3 meters long, and have jaws like bear traps. They live at the bottom of the ocean in the sand, and when they want to catch a fish, they spring upwards and clamp down their bear trap jaws on an unsuspecting victim, sometimes with so much force that they cleave the fish literally in half. Imagine a 10 foot long worm that can literally bite your leg off. This is why people should not be swimming around in the ocean. It is an absolutely terrifying place. The only good news is that even though the bobbit worm can grow to be 10 feet in length, they are really skinny and wouldn't actually be able to bite a human leg off. The bobbit worm is like one of the monsters from the Tremors movies. It even looks strikingly similar, but it's really about as skinny as your average garter snake. Gharial the gharial is an extremely weird animal. They used to be widespread predators, but now the gharial is close to extinction and is only found in a few rivers in Nepal and India. It's a very unusual crocodilian with a mouth that inspires terror. It looks like your standard alligator, only somebody pulled on its nose a little too hard and stretched it out. The gharial's snout is extremely long and looks kind of like a broomstick full of teeth. The animal has actually evolved over the years to specialize in eating fish. Its snout is able to slice through water like a knife, and it can catch fish in the blink of an eye. It then uses the roughly 110 needle-shaped teeth inside its snout to impale any fish that gets caught between its jaws. Basically, the gharial is the ultimate fisherman. If you had to be bitten by one of these animals, which would you choose? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos. See you again soon.